Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very interactive chess puzzle. Uh, I'd like to show this puzzle to you because this is actually pretty interactive. It is white to move and white has a winning move. But not every move is winning for white so you have to choose your moves precisely. You need to see the winning move in this chess exercise. So this is uh, one of the exercises from the book of Mark Dovieski's Endgame Manual. So try to guess the best move for white. What would you do in this position? Let me give you a few seconds. Uh, actually, in this video, I'm, al I'm also going to show you one more chess puzzle, uh, one more endgame chess study from the book of uh, Dovreski. So what would you do? Uh, if you say it, I would capture the pawn. Actually, this is a blunder of epic proportions. Of course, in this position, if rook takes pawn, then black is going to push the e pawn. But if king takes on g2, black plays king to f2, and this is a surviving move. Because if king to f2, uh, what would you do as black? Then pushing the pawn and deflection move. If rook takes, then king to d3. So if king takes on e1, we still have king to d3. And this is Zugsuvenk for white. White needs to play a move. The king comes for the rescue just on time and then king to c3 and white king can't defend so king to e2 king to b2 and after defending the rook pushing the pawn queen rook takes queen king takes rook and then this is going to be a draw so this is why capturing on g2 is a blunder of epic proportions in this position the correct move is king to f2 first defending And after king to e4, king takes on e2 and now the white king is defending the very important critical d3 and then f3. So this is very good for white. So uh, let's check out this position again. Uh, if black had connected pawns, that was game over for white easily. But black has separate pawns, so this is separate pawns, uh, separate pawns against rook and game. And uh, of course, the separate pawns are not so strong, but you also need to see the correct move. A uh, king takes on g2 was a blunder. King to f2 is attacking the critical, very important e pawn, which was holding the position together. And then king takes on e2 and not allowing king to d3. And this is defending. So king to d4, rook to g1. But you still need to play precisely in this position. King to e3 and what now? King to b2, but no. King to d2. If promoting the queen, capturing the queen. Promoting the queen, capturing the queen again. So king to b3, and then rook takes on g2. And this is winning for white. If king goes down, then simply king up. The pawn is pinned, and this is all over. Capturing the pawn, and white wins. So... Okay, this was the puzzle uh, that I'd like to show you, the first puzzle. The second puzzle is more challenging and more difficult, so let's check out puzzle number two. So this chess puzzle was very simple, but also very beautiful. Uh, I have one more chess puzzle to show you. Uh, I'm opening it right now. Okay. I opened the puzzle and it is white to move this time again what would you do in this position so let me show you the move which is not going to work actually you saw that move when I first opened the puzzle rook takes on a3 is not going to work but that's because of a very obvious reason because of king to b2 and after defending the rook promoting the queen and black is better so this is why uh, rook takes on a3 is a blunder because of king to b2, double attacking to rook, uh, attacking to rook and threatening to push the pawn, double threat and pushing the pawn and this is queen. This is not going to work. Which move is the best move then? What would you do in this position? Uh, maybe king to e3 comes to mind but this is also a blunder. Can you see why this was a blunder? Because of king to d1 and if capturing the pawn, then promoting the queen with check, also attacking to rook, a disaster. 
and if checking the king king to e1 and white king white white's own king is sheltering black king it looks like the white king is protecting uh, the black king and helping black to promote the queen if rook to c7 a2 and that's all over in this position if something like rook to h7 then promoting the queen with check and there is no checkmate threat because it is going to be check and white can resign so king to e3 is also not working which move is working then what would you do in this position uh, the correct move is king to f3 did you see this move because this is not allowing a uh, pushing the pawn with check because of if king to b2 well we can do this forever uh, king to b2 king to b2 is not going to work if king to d2 check 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 and checking the king forever and going behind the pawn and this is also very good for white there is no time for pushing the pawn and so this is also not working Okay, king to d1 is also not going to work because of check, king to e1, checking the king. And do you think that black has the same idea? So it looks like the white king is sheltering the black king and maybe there is time for pushing the pawn and promoting the queen. Is if going behind the pawn, then pushing the a pawn. And it looks like black is going to promote the queen once again because there is no more checks. Because of white's own king blocking and protecting the black king but this time white has this menacing rook to h7 move and how to defend if promoting the queen then rook to h1 check mate so black has to play king to e1 and this is also not going to work because because of the repetition and that's it so actually in this position rook takes on a3 was not the move king to e3 was also not the move king to f3 was the winning move but it is very easy to miss of course obviously uh, you can easily capture on a3 or king to, you can also play king to e3 in a speed chess game maybe in a blitz game in a speed chess game uh, so you have to choose your moves carefully in the end game this is why end game chess study is very important it is going to improve your understanding your ch your chess understanding so thank you very much for watching i hope uh, you find uh, this video instructive and i hope to see you next time uh, with more end game chess puzzles so stay safe take care and bye bye